Hey guys, this is Justin, also known as Grandfather. This is the third booster we're opening from the second booster uh, display kit that I have gotten. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. People are asking what I've been using. I am using a good old hair sh scissor shears. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's go into it. Top, 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 don't want to see it. No, 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 don't want to see it. <gasps> okay, hold on. <laughs> oh man, this is exciting. Um, so, like I said, they do replace all the minions with um, soul buying cards. And uh, let's just say uh, I just hit a jackpot. Uh, wow, so that's three soul buying cards in one booster pack. Check that out. All right, I don't know what these do or mean, so let's just, you know what? Let's start with the Uterra, the one that does not have a soul bind to get out of the way. side uh, the Asperian steel plate glow hive nursery yes I've wanted one of these so ah oh, so good so strong playing a minion and then if a minion plays another like plus six plus six and they don't actually destroy the level two and level ones so it's a great way to flood the board with them very strong uh, Grove Mother. Okay, all right. There's some synergies going there in a, in a bit. Uh, Noxious Reveler. Destroy all exhausted enemy creatures. And it's a Reveler, so you get to play a spell for free, which counts with uh, the Exalt cards. So, so far, so good. Shark Pate Behemoth. Uh, it deals damage equal to its, uh, its health instead of the attack. Um, but... I will say that this does get taken out with like a level one redact where it says if it's four attack or less, immediately gets destroyed. So there's an upside downside, but all in all. Spike Carapace, give a creature plus 10 plus 10. If you play a dinosaur, you play this on a dinosaur, all your creatures get plus four shield. Very strong. Second on alpha. Stout Elk. Uh, Slave, if he destroys a creature, it gains five life. And then this one's also a Slay. Give another creature uh, plus five, plus five. Stout War Tusk, okay. A Venom Chalice. Okay, um, a little lackluster. Got a little too excited with the Hold on, let me organize these a little bit. Yeah, I got a little too excited with the Glow Hive Nursery. It's a very strong card. Uh, and the Spike Carapace, but I think there's only one, uh, one dinosaur. So that's a real bummer. But maybe if I can pair with a, like a Tempest Dino deck, maybe it'll work out. So let's move on to Nova, it's uh, Nova's Dominion, Nova's Might, and then the Bounty. So, yeah, not the not the most exciting deck. Doesn't really pop out, but all right, here we go. I do not have this soul bind, so this is exciting. It's the Harbinger Staff. But we'll get to that in a sec. All right, Blitzing Breaker. All right, mobility breakthrough. Give another one of the creatures plus 10. So I'm guessing the blitzing is the mobility and breakthrough? Yeah, it must be mobility and breakthrough. Blitzing Stormling. Uh, 
Uh, let's see here. Combat Warhound. This replaces a creature, deal seven damage to a creature or player. Furious Stone Fist. Deal two damage to him itself, and then do, and then give plus six attack. Oh, okay. So here's here it is. Lightning Ritual. Move an enemy creature up to two lanes, then deal seven damage to it. Oh wow. Okay, so you can push them up to two lanes. And, okay. Interesting. I'll keep that on the side. Mystical Teacher. When you play an elementalist in a lane adjacent to this, deal six damage to a creature or player. So this with like, uh, I mean, obviously Stormling and, okay, Stone Fist. Um, sprites also count, the minions. So kind of hoping there's like a specific spell to help that. Uh, Pyromantic Ice Crusher, dealing five damage. Aggressive, Summoning Master. Uh, oh, okay. So, all right. So this one, oh, okay. All right. Um, so this one, uh, you may play another mage. When, when you play another mage, you get a spell swarm minion and his deploy is play a spell swarm. So, I mean, whether he's on the board or not, if he's on the board, you play him, you get a spell swarm next to him, he deals six damage to a player, and then, um, yeah. So that's, that's really cool. Okay, that's really strong. I uh, don't think there's a lot of mages in here, but we'll find out. So Aranti, Heartseeker, Venerable Razortooth. And that's it. So we got one, two, two mages, and then uh, two elementals. When you play an elemental into the yeah, so you have to play it. Okay. Still very strong with the summoning master. Because at level two, it does spell sprites as well, and they're all elementals, so very strong. Okay, moving. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's look at Lightning Ritual level two. Here we go. Move a lane up to one lane and deal six damage to it. And then I'm guessing Lightning Ritual is deal five to an enemy creature and play Lightning Runes. Okay, so it's like a better almost like a better uh, lightning spark. Uh, lightning runes, when a, when you deal non-combat damage to an enemy creature in this lane, transform it. Okay, that's why the lightning ritual, okay. When you deal non-combat damage to an enemy creature in this lane, you may deal that much damage to another creature. Okay. A lot of stipulations. Uh, but being able to move them into that lane is still very nice. Now, my thing is, you can probably play the lightning runes first and then deal five damage to the creature. That's my guess. Yeah, because you can immediately transform it right then and there. Huh. Interesting. That's actually pretty strong, considering. Two damage to creature or player. So this one will deal damage to the creature and you can do it not to another creature. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh, and, and with Pyromantic, same thing, deals damage to a creature. So I like this. I like the synergy that are going on right here. Uh, give your creatures plus two attack, and this turn they get mobility one. Spell, play a spell for free, and deal six damage to each enemy creature. Very strong, very strong. I like this new lightning ritual. I may try to play that in the next draft. All right, it's moving on. We're taking a little too long, but, we'll, but some of these cards are pretty awesome.
All right, this is another soul binding card. Nexus core. Here, okay. Bright Steel Sentinel. Give your robots plus eight armor. Combat Warden, give another robot in play. If you have another robot in play, give this plus four, plus four. So robot, robot. Glitch Scout. Mm, mobility with the upgrade card. Ah, here we go. Mad Low Winter. Destroy one of your minions, deal 12 damage to an enemy creature. Hmm. I'm not really sure how good that's gonna be, but okay. So we got Nano Swarm, very good. Scientist, always a good combo. Especially with sacrificing him. Prepared Assassin. Uh, oh, this is neat. You can ready one of your creatures. So say you activate Mad Low Winter and destroy one of your minions, you can deploy her after and reactivate him so you can do it again. But it does only say 12 damage to enemy creature, so that may be kind of bit of a bummer, but uh, maybe stacked off with the Harbinger Staff. We'll see. Uh, redact, very good. Uh, repurpose Engineer. This will place a creature, upgrade a card in your hand. Uh, gives us plus five for each creature you with shield you have in play. Uh, okay, so repurposes, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, that's from if you replace a creature, upgrade a card in your hand. So, interesting. Steel Graft, give two creatures plus seven attack. And this turn to get seven shield. And Sintessa, Sintessa's Laboratory. Okay, all right, here we got something going here. Um, so, destroy one of your. Level one, level two, laboratory to play a mega gizmo. When you replace a creature this lane, you may play a mega gizmo in one of your empty lanes. Okay. So I see. So there's a lot of robot synergies, but because gizmos and they're all robots anyways. This is actually not bad. It's got a good spell package. At the same time, it has Mad Low Winter. Oh, let's see, uh, level two. Destroy one of your minions, deal six damage to an enemy creature. Um, and then play Nexus Core, which is this. Uh, creatures in this lane are also minions. Activate. If you have three or more minions in play, transform this. Okay. Your creatures in this lane are also minions. When one of your creatures is destroyed in this lane, you may play a gizmo in another lane. Oh, wow, okay, neat. So it does give you something back for destroying your creatures. That's very neat, okay. That's not terrible. Wow, okay. Robot synergies and upgrade, slay upgrade, upgrade card. I kind of like it. Okay, we'll give it a try. And we got Iron Beard. Intimidate. Set a creature's attack to zero. Formation. Give a creature plus six, uh, and then adjacent creatures to a plus four. And then promote. Give a creature eight shield, and it may battle an opposing creature. It's opposing creature, so. Very cool, very cool. All right. And last but not least, good old Necrio. This one looks like a zombie deck. All right, so. Ugh. Look at the, we got the Blight Skull Bomb. We've seen this one before. Spirits get plus three, plus three for each enemy creature in play, which is great with a Displacing Spectre. Ooh, a Ghoulish Walker. Very good. Ghoulish is always a fantastic card. Hibernating Fiend. Lyria. Ooh. Um... You may play a charged zombie. All right, so deploy is you may play a charged zombie. I can activate this to destroy this to give a creature plus five attack. 
when he destroys a creature, you can play another charred zombie. Okay, okay. Uh, Plague Spear. Bruin's Guard Pit. Okay, here we go. Here got some zombies going on. Bruin's Guard Pit, that's always a good spell to work with. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, Shadow Strength, also very strong. Spite Hydra. Man, Spite Hydra. Give me the other one. <laughs> Scourge Hydra. Um, when another creature is destroyed, give this plus five, plus five. Let's see what level two. Here we go. You may play a charge zombie, but there's no. Oh no, this is slay. It's not deploy, so he has to kill something to play it. Interesting. Okay, so I'm guessing the other one is let me play a potent zombie, which is this. Destroy this to give a creature plus three attack. So it's okay. Nothing too crazy to worry about. Um, unless you're playing an endless death. Um, when a creature is destroyed, you may get a mindless zombie minion. So it's actually kind of worse than a potent zombie. Um, if it was in cycle three, it would probably be better where you could destroy one of your creatures. Uh, play... Uh, a one or level two, a level one, level two creature for free, and then dark summoning play a level one, level two creature from the discard pile. So, um, yeah, that dark summoning, just why, 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 why? But anyways, yeah. So, geez, um, I don't know where to start. I think. I think I remember. Oh, that's right. That's right. This one did have some synergies, but there's one dinosaur. Um, I think I did. I'm probably going with the Wayne package because it does have minions and direct damage. So I may play with the Wayne on this one. And then. Yeah. Alloyan and Sunder on this one. And I'll probably go with. Hmm. It's only four spells. Yeah, I may just have to go with. Um, maybe the Iron Beard. Promote. Really good no maybe the sunder i'm not sure but yep that's it for this video and uh i will see you guys in the next one bye if you like this video and would like more content like this please leave a like and subscribe and until next time forge on